I have a question. What? Why is it called cricket? I can tell you. Baseball's called baseball because there's bases in a ball. You have, they, basketball's called basketball because you throw the ball on the basket. Why is this called cricket? Um, bugs. Makes sense. <laughs>
He came in, the ball was over his head. There was no way he was going to catch it. Wow. That's like a wide receiver catch one hand. Exactly. Odell oh, no, Beckham Jr. But the the ball, ball, it's a, yeah, much you're smaller. You're catching something like a fly. It's as hard as a baseball. Yeah. The, 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 the hardness and the thickness of the ball is pretty comparable to a baseball. That's what she's saying. Wow. <laughs> Good night. It looks like my pitching. <laughs> Come on, cameraman. Get with the program. <laughs> Second over in the air, and is he gone? Did he you better believe I thought it bounced. It looked like he scooped it up, which would be similar in baseball. You can't scoop it off the ground. You have to get it before it hits the ground. Just look at this again. It was went wide off him. Nice camera this. work. Good oh, what a great It was his hand that Fingers. bounced. Tips. It was his hand that bounced. Beauty. Wow. Well, we need to see the replay because I couldn't see it. Has he caught that? <laughs> exactly. Has right. he caught that? There was a bobble or two. It looked like a bobble, but I guess it's fine. If you Wonderful catch work from Chris Gale. The way their arms spin. Well, it went in and then went out of his hand, I think. Wow. Yep, I thought it did. Oh, <laughs> oh an acrobat. <laughs> oh, <that's that. laughs> Well done. I don't. You call them referees or line judges. They've got a hard job calling things. I mean, that's hard to call with the naked eye. Wow. That was like a wide receiver going for a bomb into the end zone. Except they don't have armor. Up. Yeah. No. No. No equipment just to protect you when you hit the ground. And again, barehanded. That alone, cricket compared to baseball, cricket can look at baseball players and go, yeah, we do it barehanded. That was quick. I think he was looking to play that sweep shot. He was shaping to play the sweep shot. And Sanka Carl's anticipation was outstanding. I love that the ball can go in any direction and it's fair. There's no foul ball. We didn't understand that. Yeah, at all. He was shaping to play that shot. Brilliant as Smith. He's just gone and... Oh, well done, Smith. That's a brilliant catch. Sanka Carl has done... Wow, you called it before it, it happened. That is so... Watch. He was running before he hit it. Yeah, he started moving that way. Start his last over. He's bowled three overs. He's none for 20. Might be one for twenty, or will it be none for twenty-six? What a great exit! No! That is sensational. They just smacked it back. That's like the stuff you know in the end zone for a kickoff. Look at that! Look at the awareness! Look at the awareness! I thought he said look at his weenus. You know when they do the kickoffs and you try to hit the ball like on the half yard line or the one yard line and you don't want it to go in the end zone? Very similar kind of mentality and physicality, but completely different because you got a freaking hard ball. Let's just get back to the fact that they're barehanded. I got something else I'll say when we're done that I'm beginning to really soak in about this sport. Just reward brilliance. You can't. Gee whiz. You have to reward that. And the heads up for him to be there, because they obviously have to know that if the other guy's going, you need to be there, because he's going to throw it back in. From the 12th man. Is that the review? Are they reviewing it? Do they do instant replay in cricket? India! Yes, your Ratzing has been an outstanding fielder for India. Oh, 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 this is a fantastic catch. Six, minimum ten. Check that well. That's well enough. Not well enough. Oh, that's fun. That's so exciting. That's outstanding. Now the umpires are going to convert up. Oh, no. New Zealand has it. One of the best acts of each in my opinion. I love it. I agree. We gave the tourists a meet. I can see it. It's all grainy. Oh. 
doesn't look from that angle like it was. Mind you, that's not a great angle. What about this one here? He's got to stay in bounds. Oh, I think he's got it. And then water, but here we go. Magnificent catch. The padding's all we care about. Again, if he touches the pad, he's out. I guess so. He's got this one. How well has he got it? How well? Oh, he's a fearless. What a terrific catch. Oh, I thought the game had everything, and now it has. That is simply the most amazing thing you'll see. And we'll have another look at it to see if it's all legal. I love their accents. Me too. Yeah, that's good. There's so much to pay attention to with this sport. Thank you. I mean, we, and we're just beginning to get it. He's inside. He's thrown it before he's got up there. So that's that was too good. smooth. And the that was really smooth. Completed. Yeah, that's that's all fine. Here you go. Oh, you had another one? Confirm it is out. I would love to actually play on a cricket field. Yeah. Oh dear. Well, that's insane. How long after you catch it can you go out of bounds, or can you never go out of bounds? I think never. I think you can never go out of bounds. So like you caught it, 10 seconds later you walk out of bounds, is it still a... I don't know, that's a good question. I also want to know, like in, in basketball, in certain circumstances, if you go out of bounds and then come back in, or in football, you go past the person, like you go behind the line of scrimmage, you're disqualified from contacting the ball. So if they cross the line and then come back in, well, there's nothing else to contact the ball until he throws it again. Oh, look at What oh, happened? This has to be the catch of the Dominican Canal. We would have seen many, many more Can't see catches, it. but this Grainy. is really... Grainy. That is not HD. No. Not that timing. George Bailey. But look at him, Saudi. Stretching to perfection. Right, and then he'll be stepping over the line. Oh, he my threw it at the last goodness. minute. Because <laughs> he knew he was going to step over the line. Law, the body awareness. Are you humiliated? Like, if like that happens and he steps out of bounds, is he, like, humiliated? Like, I can't imagine he would. I would imagine it would be, like, valiant oh, like, attempt, do, man. Do, do, people, or do people, like, ridicule him? Like, how do you not know you're about to step out of bounds? Throw the freaking ball! Right, and do you, do you get errors? Because, for example, in baseball, if it's a routine play, like a routine fly and you drop it, that's an error because you should have made that play. Whereas if you blow a play like that, you would never be an error. I don't even know if they have something mm -hmm. comparable to an error. You know, no, errors in football. No, there's penalties. Yeah, but they don't have errors. Errors are different than penalties. No, I know. But, for example, for stats for a player... Yeah. Uh, if you win the Golden Glove in baseball, that's because you've had a season where you've had far less mistakes. Mm -hmm. So your your defensive ability is based on whether or not you make mistakes, uh, and and the errors can go up against you. Whether and they're always on a routine play, so it's subjective. It's the people who are on the, at the scoring table. They'll watch you on what they consider to be a routine ground ball to short, and you throw it away or you bobble the ball. They'll give you an error, and they keep that all season long and compile those errors. And then the Golden Glove winners at the end of the year are determined by who had the fewest errors mm. and made great plays. Yeah. I don't know if the same thing is true for the defensive players in cricket, if they have a form of error, because they don't do that in football. Yeah. You don't you don't have errors. Now, they will keep track of how many dropped passes. Yeah. Um, so maybe that's what it... Yeah, they don't call those errors, but yeah. like a... a and sadly... They probably keep track of drops. And what, what sucks in football is you could have a great quarterback. American football. American football, sorry. Uh, you can have a great quarterback. Mm -hmm. Whose receivers suck, oh. and that that quarterback's passing ratio hurts, and they could have been spot on, but because the receivers don't catch it, it messes up their stats. Luckily, my team doesn't have that problem. Oh wow! Also, you're getting ready to come up on American football season. You're oh, getting ready to you see don't Corbin even... go. Okay, H. guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna prepare you. In the way that you guys have expressed to us, and I know you'll say it isn't comparable because I know that cricket for you is a religion, and I get it. Atlanta Falcons football for <laughs> Corbin is a religion. Don't even mess with me. You don't talk to me on Sundays. <laughs> he won't be around. But here's the thing I wanted to say about this that I'm getting the feel for. You know what I'm getting the feel for with this highlight? Because they kind of took some time. I'm getting the feel. Like, one of the things I love about baseball, it's called a national pastime, is there's no time constraint. Mm. 
It's got nine innings, but the beautiful thing about going to a baseball game is the fact that you could be there for three hours, you could be there for six if it goes into extra innings. Uh, it's just this beautifully... That's also why it's dying in America. It's not dying in America. Wait, it's not it's like the third timed. or fourth most watched sport. It is, because people want gratification now. They don't know how to be That's patient That's why I'm saying. That's anymore. why it's dying. It's not dying, but it's just not as popular as football. Because Amer Americans have very short attention spans. Yes. Yeah, and I love pathetic. baseball. Uh, I can see the appeal, the thought of being able to go and forget about life for a while and unite with everybody in a way I'm reminded of that animated thing we watched that talked about the beauty of... Dear CSK. Uh, yeah, good job. Uh, the thought of going to watch cricket and just be there all day long and have beers and be with your friends and enjoy watching competition, that's and a beautiful thing. I thought about going to the... They're coming here in August, August to Florida. 4th and 5th. Yeah. It's on the other side of the country. Yeah, it's on the complete opposite of the So it'd be a six-hour flight on top of, we need to buy tickets to actually see the game. We need to buy... Buy tickets to a hotel. hotel. We have all the lodging, the, the food, the I mean, transportation. And I, and I would love to go, because I would love to see one India versus the West Indies, because when are you going to be able to see that? Right. <laughs> but <clears throat> sadly, they're, they wanted to go to Florida for some reason. Nobody lives in... Okay, people live in Florida, but you don't want to see them. Why didn't they come to L.A.? Yeah. <clears throat> Come to a place that's good. Go and go to Florida. It's basically the South Dakota of the South. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh my shit, boss.